Hi everyone, I'm documenting my journey to start in quail. This is my second batch of hatching eggs. These are Jumbo Caternix quails. Um, I have a custom egg turner from Etsy. The maker's name is Iris Eyes in a Cabonics incubator. I did bump the temperature up a little bit because my testing shows it's a little bit lower down in the bottom. It's another incubator I use, but it's a little finicky, so I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. And this is my first brooder. I do have plans to change it, but I hatched eight quail from Celadon quail eggs. And I had it sectioned off so that the two heater plates were right next to each other and they couldn't get very far away from it. And I had food scattered on the floor when I first put them in. Now these heater plates, I absolutely love them. I've been using them for years. They do not heat the entire brooder or your entire room. So I'm able to keep them in my dining room that we use as a school room. But they go under there to get warm when they're cold like they would a mother hen. Um, I have cardboard down on the bottom and cardboard on top of those because it's easy to clean. Gives them traction, nothing for them to eat that they shouldn't get into. This whole cage is a guinea pig habitat, but I'm gonna be changing that to a wood brooder. Here before the next batch hatches, I put game starter that was unground. I spread some out on the floor and for a waterer I used a quail waterer. Nobody drowned, nobody can, can get in it because I don't know if you can see, but the lip is very small. They can't get in there enough to drown as far as my experience has shown so far. I get a lot of my supplies from my pet chicken. And those are my first eight Celadon quails. If you have any questions about any of my products, let me know. Like I said, I absolutely love the heating plates. Um, my experience with chickens, um, they're much, much quieter with the heating plates. They can regulate their temperature, move under it when they're cold, come out when they're not, and uh, they're just quieter and happier. They're quieter at night because they don't have a light on them constantly, and they are definitely thri thriving with the heater plates. Um, these ones are adjustable. The little clips. You just push the little clip in and raise them up and down. They can be slanted so that one side is higher and one side is lower. And they're just uh, a great addition to a brooder setup if you're going to be brooding a lot of quail or chickens. Um, I would never ever go back to a heat light. Um, but yeah, everybody's doing great. If you have any recommendations or questions about my incubators or cardboard or brooder. The cardboard is I bought on a roll from Uline. I see I need to fill the feeder. They're struggling a little bit to get to the bottom of it. At least the white one thinks she needs to be inside of it. <laughs> We've got hatching time plastic set up in another room that I need to put together for when these guys are a couple weeks older. The Katornix Jumbos that I have in the incubators are um, were shipped to me. So hopefully we get at least a 50% hatch rate. I'm going to go pick up some more this weekend that are local. I also have um, some, some quail egg crates that fit the Jumbos and the regular size if you're interested in that information. Let me know, and I'll keep documenting the different products I use and what works for me on a small-scale, non-commercial grower, just uh, raising them to support my family. This one's not stuck. She's just uh, silly. Um, like I said, it's my first batch of quail, so if there's something you see that I'm doing wrong, please let me know. And uh, more videos to follow. Thanks.